nobody really likes employee orientation. And if you do, you're weird. The good news is that orientation at In-N-Out doesn't suck nearly as bad as our competitors. That right there is worth its weight in mustard. Speaking of mustard, we'll get into all the off-menu cooking options that could ever possibly come up. Because really, the basic menu wasn't that much of an achievement in memorization to begin with. There will be a quiz at the end. That part does suck. You'll need a score of 80% to pass this course, but you'll probably need a score of 100% to be ready for that angry customer who's had enough bullshit to last a lifetime and he's next in line and ready to let you have it. Tap next to continue. It's no secret. Everybody experiences unconscious bias. This is how our brains are wired to receive and sort through information on a day-to-day -day basis. And this can be damaging to relationships at all levels. The good news is we can absolutely do things to change it. Click next to learn more. The Pro CBT 2000 by Cuisinart is a high performance blending powerhouse with blades that can make short work of your fingers. To keep all your digits where they belong, on your hand, we humbly request that you keep that hand out of the inside of the blender jar when attached to the blender if it's plugged in. You might need those fingers for something later. And besides, the meat grinder attachment goes on the SM50S, silly. Based on research at the Johns Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center, analysis of tumor samples from patients confirmed that lesions found in the fallopian tubes called serous tubal intraepithelial carcinomas have been identified as being present prior to discovery of ovarian cancers. Clinical trials are scheduled to determine if fallopian tube removal will reduce ovarian cancer diagnoses for high-risk patients. Three subcategories have been identified in the spectrum of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder patients, which outline how symptoms can manifest. These subcategories include combined inattentive and hyperactive impulsive, predominantly inattentive, and predominantly hyperactive impulsive. Identifying the clinical presentations in diagnosed children can help guide treatment plans with maximum efficacy.